Hello again, beautiful people. Welcome or welcome back. I know that it is towards, we're coming towards the end of the holiday season, but I had just been like super busy getting everything ready for like Christmas and, you know, making sure I had everything ready to make Christmas lunch and all my presents wrapped and mailed out and all that stuff. So I just hadn't had a whole lot of time to unbox this. But as you can tell, I got my hands on an advent calendar from Art by Marlene. I did order this one off of Joggles and I think it retailed for about 36 or 37 US dollars, which isn't too expensive, I think, for like a paper craft advent calendar. Um, so I am gonna, full disclosure, I have already peeked, so I do know what this advent calendar has. I saw a video of somebody unboxing it before I made the decision to purchase it. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to kind of show you guys what was in this year's advent calendar. And I will put the link down below in case that there are still some available. Um, but like I said, I ordered off of mine. I ordered mine off of Joggles um, at the beginning of December, late November, actually, was it late November? Um, so they might still have some. But anywho, let's get into the unboxing. Okay, let's make sure that we are in frame. Yep, okay. All right, so this is how many days? 24, 25 days of goodness. Um, like I said, I kind of already know. I know that this particular advent calendar has a variety of acrylic stamps and a couple ink pads. All right, day one. I think my advent calendar was put in backwards. That's gonna make this super hard to unbox, I think. Um, oh, fiddlesticks. Um, all right, guys, so I'm just gonna like, I guess unbox this whole section all at once. As you can see, they put the plastic, it's like upside down. Um, okay, so day one is, that oh yeah uh, it that's so funny okay day two um day eight okay so i'm just gonna tear this whole thing i know that kind of defeats the purpose but there's no way i can get to it Mine was backwards. So we're gonna flip this around and I will go through and we'll just pretend that it was correct. All right, so day one is a desk calendar by the looks of it. And from what I saw in videos, you can use the stamps in this advent calendar to kind of create your own little images for each month. And then it does have space, I guess, for like daily appointments you can write down. That's pretty cute. All right, so that was supposed to be day one. Day two is an acrylic block. And I think it has like a plastic protector thing. Maybe. Yep. Okay. So day two is an acrylic block. You can't go wrong with that. It's always nice to have extras. Day. Let's see this one what date was that day eight or day three 
is this cute stamp. Day four is a black stamp pad that I just opened. Now I'm not sure if the stamp pad is uh, chalk or pigment based. So we'll have to test that out to be sure. Day five is this really cute puffer fish. Let me see if I have, um, let me grab a piece of paper here so you can kind of see what it looks like. Okay. Puffer fish. Day six was this really cool circle stamp. And I really like this one. I had planned to use it to put like the date for my journal. Uh, day six. Oh, I think day seven was, no, that's day eight. Day seven's over here. So let's see if <laughs> this is, nope, this is also entirely upside down as well. Okay. Um... Well, YOLO, I think I'm just gonna do the same thing and rip this open, which is super unfortunate because you don't get the like cool vibe you would have if you'd open up a day at a time. Okay, so day seven is this uh, paper tags. And so I've kind of found out that you can layer the stamp on the paper tag. And so these are shaped like little ornaments. You can make your own little like paper Christmas ornaments or paper tags for gifts and stuff. I don't know how many sheets are in here or how many tags, but it seems like a pretty decent amount. That was day seven. Um, day eight is this really cute snail stamp. Day nine is this is really beautiful lady doing yoga. Now this one I really liked because I thought you could use this obviously as like along the sides of your pages but I wanted to use this to make like headdresses for like art dolls and stuff. I think this would be really neat. Eleven is this really adorable um, bird stamp. So this was like one of the favorite, my favorite ones that I saw when I watched a couple unboxings. And it's one of the driving forces for buying this particular advent calendar. So 11 and now back to here. Um, 12. 12 are more of these paper tags, but these are a more unique shape. And actually, I'll just skip day 13 has a stamp that actually goes along with it goes along with this uh, paper pad or tag. Let's 
Okay, that was um, 12, 13, 14. Where are you? 14. 14 is another ink pad. It's a nice pretty teal color. 15 is this tiny little stamp that says happy. 16. Um, this says may the night sky kiss your soul and carry your sorrows. Oh, that's beautiful. Um, 17. Okay, I'm just gonna like open all of this up now. So you have a pink ink pad or stamp, wait, yeah, stamp ink pad. Um, and then we have, I'm just gonna take all of these out. final stamps here we go I have this they have this sketchy floral this one would be good as like a border or like just to like you know add a little interest sketchy flower these are really cute and I think you could probably, or I'm not sure if that's what these are for, but when I saw these, I immediately thought that you could use this to stamp around the holes in your tags. I think that's pretty cool. This is a cityscape, it looks like. A bird. And a little girl in a crown. So aside from the fact that like my advent calendar was uh, put in, in put put together incorrectly, um, I'm still very pleased with all of the really cool acrylic stamps and just like the overall um, advent calendar. Totally worth it. So that being said, I'm going to go ahead and probably add some footage of me making something using these stamps. I'm very, very inspired by this one and this stamp. And what was the other one? Oh, and this one. So I'm going to go ahead and play around and uh, yeah, hope you enjoy. So right away, looking at the different stamps that came in this advent calendar, I immediately wanted to make an art doll. So it's called, I'm not sure if they call them art dolls or paper dolls, maybe all of them, um, but it's something that I've really enjoyed doing this past year or so. So I immediately wanted to use that and that quirky stamp that's used for the tag. I wanted to use it as the body. Um, and now I didn't just want to leave it as is. Like I said, I wanted to use as much, as many products as I could from this calendar. So I wanted to kind of give the body a little bit more depth a little more intrigue so I kind of layered a couple stamps and so here I am just like trying out the different colors just to see how it looks on top of that neon pink. I like to test out the different colors to kind of give you know me a better idea of where I'm headed in terms of like 
what colors to use and stuff. Um, so yeah, so I'm just like layering a bunch of the different stamps and I will say I found out like with playing with the different, with the ink pads that these, this particular ink pad is not, I'm not sure if it's called dye based or pigment based, but that is ink that just like you can watercolor over, you can put wet medium over and it will not smudge or reactivate. That is not the ink pads that they're in this set. So this, these ink pads, they do take a while to dry. Um, I try, I stamped it on here, some sticker paper and it took a while to dry. And then on the neon paper, it also took a while. And then I did later stamp some more images on my Tomoe River paper and it was the same thing. So it takes, it has a longer drying time and then it does smudge and reactivate with like wet medium. Um, so yeah, would not recommend this ink pad if you're looking for something to like watercolor over or to use markers over, like just, I would not do it. Um, so here I am using that really cool stamp that made me think of like headdresses and stuff. And I am stamping that onto some neon shipping labels. I bought a whole bunch, like neon is another thing that I've just been like super into. Um, I try to use as much sticker paper as possible in like my journal and stuff because I hate having to glue things. Like I'm so bad at it. So sticker paper is my best friend. Um, here for the legs, I knew I wanted to use Courtney Diaz's printables. So Courtney Diaz is a wonderful creator and she releases monthly collage sheets. And this particular set of legs was from a collage sheet back in like 2017, I think. Um, but it's like my favorite. So I actually took a screenshot of the legs from the PDF and I just like multiple, like put multiples of the same legs on one sheet. And then I printed it out in like a bunch of different sizes. So I have like probably like 20 sets of legs just hanging around in my craft room. Um, so yeah, I use that for her legs. And I think that's the only thing that I use that was not from the advent calendar. So putting this all together, you can see I also trimmed the body a little bit because it was a little too square at the top where the neck met um, the torso. So I just kind of wanted to round that out. And so here's when I realized I tried using my Zig clean color watercolor marker things. And that's when I noticed that it was smudging and I didn't want to continue using it. So I made the switch over to color pencils. So here I'm just using Arteza, like a darker brown. I don't even know the name of the color. It was just a random one that I pulled to just kind of give some shadows and some dimension of the face. Um, and then I also, I, call, I think I gave her a periwinkle blue eyes. Um, and then like a light corally blush. Uh, and I use that same shade for her lips. So even though it was a Christmas advent calendar, the image that I made was not Christmassy at all, I don't think. It was very, very bright, but I'm not mad at it. I'm like super happy with how it turned out. Um, but yeah, oh, so here I am giving her some like a turquoisey blue green hair. I really do like blue hair turquoise hair, mint hair on um, like little uh, figures and stuff that I put in my journal. It's like my favorite color. So, um, so here I am putting it all together. <laughs> like I mentioned, I hate gluing things. And so I had a hard time putting all this together because the legs were sticker paper, the face and the headdress were all sticker paper, but the torso, the base of it was not. So I think in hindsight, or next time I do this, I will probably use just clear tape to like stick them first. Um, Cause yeah, I had a hard time putting this all together for some reason and peeling off all the <laughs> sticker paper. So yeah, I struggled. Um, but yeah, like I said, putting this all together, I really do feel like this kit 
or this advent calendar was 100% worth the money. I can see that I, I already know that I'm going to use these stamps in a lot of different ways and not just solely to make tags or like Christmas tags. Um, so yeah, I will say I'm super duper sorry because I did look on joggles.com to see if they had a link for this and I cannot find it anywhere on the site. So I'm not sure if there are any other retailers in the U.S. that sells Studio Light Art by Marlene. Um, super sorry, guys. You might be able to find it somewhere, but I I could not. Um, I guess just keep an eye out for next year. She does. I think she does this every year. So, um, and so here I am um, back to what I'm doing on the screen. I'm making like a mask. So I watched a YouTube video like several years ago where somebody did this. Um, so you take the stamp of the image in the back that you don't want to stamp over, like you don't want things to get on, and you stamp that on a sticky note, cut it out and layer that on top of your stamped image. So that way, if you stamp around it like I stamped the little halo, it doesn't get on the image. It's genius. I it's one of my favorite things to do. Uh, but yeah, so this is how it turned out. I love it. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a happy holiday. Bye!